Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 27th meeting of National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. The Armenian delegation presented on a Bundestag deputies the post-war situation in Armenia. The village of Chuncha in Javak was gasified. The border village of Barikamaban is deserted. Restoration of the walls of Tigran Akira times of destruction. UNESCO's response to the Iran-Armenian application. Film bridge of the monastery of Santa Deo the Apostol, the new Armenian Georgian bridge is ready. On July 6, the 27th meeting of National Assembly of Western Armenia was held, which was attended by deputies from different countries. After the agenda was approved, the deputies touched upon the details of the mission of the delegates of Western Armenia and their homeland. They discussed and analyzed their meetings in Western Armenia with local indigenous Armenians. As Deputy Arman Grigorian from USA noted, every Armenian should definitely visit Western Armenia to feel the warmth that the indigenous Armenians living there feel for us. The participants of the meeting decided decided to send a mandatory delegation to their homeland at least once a year and further expand communication with the indigenous Armenians living there and attract deputies from there to our ranks. During the meeting, President Armena Gabrahman's speech was presented at a meeting of the UN expert mechanism on the right of indigenous people which got positive responses from the deputies. At the end of the meeting, the agenda of the next meeting was drawn up. The delegation of Armenia Georgian Friendship Group of National Assembly of Republic of Armenia met with a speaker of foreign policy issues of Social Democratic Party of Bundestag of Germany, Nils Schmidt, deputies of the same Bundestag faction, Derek Wisse, Johannes Krabs, and Martin Gestner, during their visit to Germany. During the meeting, issues aimed at expanding and deepening the regional situation, international cooperation, and bilateral parliamentary relations were discussed. The Armenian delegation presented the post war situation in Armenia and the region and voiced the challenges of preserving Armenian culture heritage. Chunchha village of Akhalkalak municipality was included in the list of villages of state gasification program. In 2019-2020, a central gas pipeline was carried out in a village, but it was not distributed among subscribers in the future. In the village, they are waiting to be connected to the central gas pipeline, which has already broken down over these two years. There are 85 houses in Chunchha village. Together with Chunchha, this program was planned to gasify the village of Ptena, a piece means that Tokyo of Akhalkalak district. The small village of Barikamavan in the Tavos region of Republic of Armenia is surrounded by Azerbaijan positions on three sides. Once there was 1,150 inhabitants in the village, today about 160 people live here. Considering that more than 70% of the population of the village is over 60 years old, the problem of first aid is urgent. Drinking water is a serious problem in the village. People have water in their homes only once a week. The issue of security is no less important. From the Azerbaijan positions, both the village and the only way to the village are clearly visible, and although there are no shots fired after the 2015, but against the background of the post war situation, residents are concerned. There is also a second round in the village, most of which is located outside the visibility zone of Azerbaijan armed forces. The villagers are engaged in agriculture. Western Armenia appeals to the Armenian leadership to immediately address the issue, otherwise, the devastation of the village will lead to the consequences, and it is everyone's duty, first of all, to lend a helping hand to the villagers guarding the border. When asked about the restoration of historical walls of the city of Tigranakert in Western Armenia, the former co-chairman of Chamber of Architects of Tigranakert, Chef Rehan Aydin, noted that the Turkish state is trying to every way to hide the damage caused to the walls. Tigranakert Fortress and a cultural landscape territory of Hezwell Gardens were included in a UNESCO World Heritage List at a 39th meeting of the committee, which was held in Bonn, Germany in 2015. The architect stated that the walls of the city were worth destroyed due to their improper actions, applied not so long ago and that everything is being done to erase the traces that arose as a result of armed clashes in Sur Quarter. A proof of this is the demolition of Sur Quarter and a quarter being built in a completely new style. According to him, all this is done in order to erase the history of the former Sur from the memory of mankind. Aydin continues his speech as follows. During the clashes of 2015-2016, tanks and artillery were used in Sur Quarter, so the walls were seriously damaged. The restoration work has begun is aimed at hiding all this distractions. The history of Suran presenting to tourism is completely different form. Western Armenia expresses hope that under the cover of this restoration, they will not try to destroy the Armenian trace despite the fact that we have all the arguments proving the Armenian character of this wonderful fortress. 
the Center of International Information of Networking of Asia-Pacific Region under the species of UNESCO in a separate article touched upon the registration of application of Republic of Armenia to UNESCO on the same pilgrimage at the Monastery of St. Apostol Tadeos, prepared with the Islamic Republic of Iran. The Monastery of St. Tadeos is considered one of the first pieces of evidence of Christianity in Armenia. It is located in the historical Artas province of Makur region of modern Iran. The registration of the application pilgrimage of Monastery of St. Apostol Tadeos is appreciated because it presents joint protection and ensures the viability of tangible and intangible cultural heritage as well as Armenian Iranian cultural cooperation. Deputy Minister of Territory Administration and Infrastructure, Republic of Armenia, Kristina Galician, Executive Director of Road Department Foundation, Goravetisyan, visited the Bagratashen checkpoint that deal with the construction of a new road on a territory of Sadeho, Bagratashen checkpoint of the Bet River. Work on a bridge friendship has already been completed. The bridge will be put into operation in the near future. Western Armenia considers it important to develop infrastructures with the neighboring states. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.